This is Melissa from Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room, and thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Hi, this is Melissa from Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room, and I am going to show you how to animate your Bitmoji so that it can talk. You need either the Bitmoji app or the ability to get the Bitmoji onto your phone, and this app called My Talking Pet. And there's probably a variety of different ones. I've used this one in the past, so this is the one that I'm going to be using. And last time I checked, it was free. So it was in the, uh, the App Store, but I believe I saw it in Google Play as well. So first thing you need to do is find a Bitmoji. And you want to find something where you kind of have like a fairly pleasant expression on your face and um, your lips are closed because it looks really weird otherwise like you're kind of chewing with your mouth open if you have teeth showing. So I definitely don't recommend using um, an open mouth bitmoji. Now this will take a little bit of scrolling and hunting. You may have to edit a photo if you're interested and you need to do that before you actually uh, animate it. So like this stay healthy, helpful, and calm, you'd want to re use remove.bg or crop it so it's just you and not the words because otherwise those are not going to be able to get rid of very easily. Um, and I'm not really sure how to get rid of those if you left them in. So I'm going to go back, and I had found one by typing in the word sit that I liked, and it's this one that says how you feeling, which isn't perfect, but at the same time, it kind of goes with something usable. So I'm going to take this one and save it to my phone, and that's all you need from the Bitmoji app. Now, this is kind of a crucial step here. If you don't care if there is a white background around your Bitmoji, that's fine and you can go on to the next step. If you care, you need to remove the background right now before you go into My Talking Pet. And I, um, if you put it into on screen, it won't save it as a video with sound. So you're gonna need to do that before you go to My Talking Pet. I'm going to not really care about it because I can just stick this in front of a whiteboard and that's enough for me. I don't feel like I need to do that extra step. So once you're ready to go, open up My Talking Pet. And I'm going to close this so you can see what it looked like. And you're going to get a Create New. And you're going to add the Bitmoji. Now I will say when I removed my background, I had trouble getting it to line up with my eyes and face, and I think that's because the chair is confusing it. So I'm going to use this one right here that is on a white background, and I'll just select that. So there's two ways you can find your face, and either you can move by taking a hold of one of the red dots and then dragging it to a spot, or you can hit detect markers automatically. And I'm gonna see, you can see it gets pretty close to what I want. You, If you're not completely happy, you can hold down on one of the little red dots and move it around. So I'm gonna bring this a little closer to my chin. And now you can see I kind of have this weird little bubble by my, my cheek chin area. So I'm going to take the red dot and pull it up a little bit so that that line comes closer to my face. And it's okay if it's not exactly on your face because your head moves when you talk. Um, so that's all right. And it may take a little try and go back. So let's see what this looks like. So when I hit the check mark, you can see I'm moving around and it looks pretty okay, except in that right upper corner you can see when I move my head in a certain direction it's kind of weird and pointy so I'm going to hit the face button in the bottom here and go back and I'm just gonna move this top dot over a little bit and see how it does let's try that again and that looks a lot better because now I'm got not getting weird pointy hair because I do not want to look like Lisa Simpson so 
In here, you can do a couple extra things. So if you swipe to the left, you can get these little filters, which are kind of neat if you're looking for something fun. And you just cycle through them until you don't want them or if you don't want them to clear them out. And there's other things like glasses and hats. These ones don't work so well with the Bitmoji as you can see, so I'm not going to use those. And I'm going to go right back over to my regular uh, screen. So you can change the speed and you can change the pitch. It's a little bit cartoony right out of the get-go and I'm okay with that because this is a cartoon version of myself. So to record, all you have to do is hit the record button. This is Melissa from Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room and thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Now let's check out how that sounds. This is Melissa from Mrs. Stoffer's Music Room and thanks so much for watching this tutorial. And I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm just going to hit save, share. And skip all these extra things and just save it to my phone. Now, this is the part that's really important. And you are going to go and in your phone, you've got the video. So this is the correct video. And I'm going to hit share. And then I'm going to save it to my files on my desktop. And I'm going to save it as a video. And that's really important because otherwise it's not going to have sound. So we're going to pause and I'm going to go right over to my computer. So now that I'm on my computer, you want to take your video and save it to your Google Drive, which I have already done. And you do need to give it a few minutes. I've actually been waiting for uh, like about 10 before I popped back on here to show you how to finish this out. And Google is still formatting it a little bit so that it looks correct on all different devices. So it will take a few minutes for that to populate, so don't do this last minute. And once it's in Drive, though, you can still at least put it into your slides. So you're going to go to Insert, and you want to do Video. Select your video. See, it's still formatting, but when it is in here, you can later on select it to autoplay in presentation, which is really neat, and that's kind of fun. So I'm just going to close this so we can see a little better. And I'm just going to put my little Bitmoji kind of here and make her bigger so it kind of looks like I'm sort of hanging off the page, which it looks weird right now, but in presentation mode, you won't really see all that hanging off. So that's okay with me. And let's see how that goes. Now, I would say if I was doing this for my kids, I would make it so that the whiteboard is a lot bigger behind me and you don't see the rest of this room because that would really bother me to have this like white background here. But just so you can see it, I'm going to hit present. And you can see that it's hanging off, which is exactly what we wanted. And I'm not sure if you are going to be able to hear this because my microphone is plugged into my laptop. But when I push play, you can see it populates and she starts talking and everything is exactly how I want it. So that is how you make your Bitmoji talk, which is just mind blowing to me. And I hope that you can do this in a way that will at least give you a little bit of verbal contact with your kids. And if it doesn't look exactly how you want it. You could do something like put yourself into a computer screen or a an iPad or on a, a TV, something that will populate where it looks like you're in a screen and that would be just fine too. So I hope this has helped you out and have a great day.